Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's been a very long time. Um, so normally the winter time here would be the time to do a whole heck, a lot of gardening, but I just kind of really wasn't in the mood to, to be honest, I really wasn't in the mood to. And um, I actually really didn't have anything to grow for the winter time. I didn't really buy any more seeds. Um, I really wasn't gonna do any lettuce because I really wasn't, we, we hadn't really been eating any of the greens, although I really should. And um, so anyway, so I pretty much took the winter off here. And um, so now is, is um, the time. And so I just wanted to give a quick update of what's going on. And um, also too, just want to quick plug. I just started as a uh, travel agent. And so if any of you in the US that are watching and if you need a vacation planner, please hit me up. You can, um, I'll just put a link to my Facebook page on, in the description. And so, let's get on with um, what's going on in my garden here. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here. Um, this pot, this pot right here has just been kind of a compost pot. And um, I just have my aloe plant sitting on it because uh, as I water it, any water that flows through the this plant will then go in here. So, and from that, um, up popped this volunteer plant here. It's and I figure it is a it is a pumpkin, and um, the only reason why I think it's a pumpkin, well, it's definitely one of those kind of vines. It's you know I can tell it's definitely not zucchini, and it's definitely not cucumber. So because too I didn't really put anything in the compost with those kind of seeds. The only thing that that really got me thinking was we have um, a hamster, and so all the hamster bedding and all that stuff goes in here, and one of the hamster food has pumpkin seeds so this is so we've got pumpkin and and um i'm just gonna go you know see how it comes out and um see if i actually even end up getting any um the first flowering where is it now here see this one right here that was a, a fruit that was a female flower which didn't set fruit and then i noticed the is uh, yesterday here is another one so i don't know if that's gonna set fruit or not um, but we, sh we shall see and so just wanted to show you that first okay and then over here we got a pot of mint that a friend of mine gave me um, I had tried growing lemon mint, mint. I had uh, bought seeds for lemon mint but for whatever reason I could not get that to grow it would grow about maybe like this big and then all of a sudden they start drying up and, and it just completely died and um, another thing is I lost all my seeds, can't find it. It's somewhere in the house, but I just have not been able to find it. So until I do, then I, um, I can't try again with the lemon mint. But when I do find it, and hopefully then I will try again with the lemon mint. I just wanted to try the lemon mint because it's supposed to have a little bit more lemony scent and flavor. So, But this is the regular mint, and um, I haven't really done anything with it yet. I haven't made any teas. I'm a fan of mint chocolate and all things like that but tea I'm just not haven't really been but definitely if I have any digestive issues stomach issues then I would definitely be taking tea with these and of course this is the avocado and I'm not sure what variety it was just from a uh, seed it's been this, this is probably now I think one and a half years old now and um, this is the new growth but this part right here you see the top is hasn't been doing very well at all it's been very very pitiful looking and um, so hopefully then at least with this part will do well and then over here is a lemon lemon tree just from a regular store-bought lemon um, that I when I put in the compost this popped up so we'll see how that goes so it's in a one gallon pot and it's not, I think it's not, I probably need to definitely for sure feed it, feed it some compost and things like that because it's not very green. And then here, still the same, rosemary and the thyme. The thyme hasn't been doing very well. Um, definitely need to, maybe, maybe if I try to transplant this into a bigger pot, maybe the rosemary and the thyme will do better. Um, and here, this I bought from the store because I got seeds, but for whatever reason, I could not get them to grow. I could not get them to germinate. So the local store had these for sale. They were already like, they're, you know, they pretty much, they look like this. So I just bought them, you know, came, paid about 10, almost $10 for this, this little bunch. 
and um, these are garlic chives. I use these a lot in eggs, um, in, uh, in my um, Chinese pan fried dumplings I put these in and um, I think put it, you can put it and garnish it or put it with anything in soups and even um, but I mainly use it for eggs or my uh, pan fried dumplings and when I, when I make it with the pan fried dumplings I mean okay I just had to let that motorcycle loud motorcycle pass but I need way bigger I mean these this gar these garlic chives can grow like they, they can grow like each leaf is about oh half an inch thick so this is this has a long way to go and um, I so I have to let this grow let it grow I mean I still use it I mean I use it for eggs and stuff but in order for me to be able to use this for pan fried dumplings I need double or actually triple the size of this for that and then um, here is um, what is it oh it's the yellow pear tomato that's this actually was a volunteer came out of one of the compost pots and uh, so it was probably from last year's um, harvest when I some of the, some of the uh, yellow pear tomatoes that uh, were went rotten or I can't remember how it just I just happened to toss one or two in the compost pots and so this popped up and we'll see how that goes and of course I still have the green onions and this is the Suriname cherry and here's the other Suriname cherry I'm, you know because it's it, this one's doing much better because it's in a much bigger pot it's a one one gallon pot and then here's lemongrass I think I was gonna take this out because I got plenty of lemongrass and I was just gonna use this pot for something else I really didn't need to propagate anymore because I got plenty in this pot right over here so you can see how huge this thing is and it's totally filled up the pot and I've been harvesting a few here and there let me let this truck pass I've been harvesting here and there and also giving it out to some friends and um, but you can see as you can see this thing is huge so I definitely don't necessarily need to propagate anymore and so that's my thinking I think I would just pull this out and use the pot for something else and more green onions here and more green onions here um, and then let's see over here I've got another avocado tree same age as the other one and this one is definitely doing a lot better now you see a lot of good healthy green leaves and then this one I don't know what happened with this particular branch but it didn't do so well and so now it's died off but we still got a lot of new growth here so and then over here is another volunteer tomato plant but I think this is a regular tomato plant that I got from the store and so here is a little baby tomato and here I have daikon radish now I use that I, I buy daikon radish um, from the local Asian store here uh, they don't have a whole lot of Asian stuff in that Asian market but they for the few things they have they ha have daikon radish and I use that in kimchi and then uh, when I use the, the radish I cut off I left about one and a half inch of the radish root and I just decided to plant it so here if you can see the the root um, I uh, planted it in here just to get some leaves and uh, actually I really wanted it to go to seed so I can have some seed for next season uh, cool season then I can try try to grow my own daikon radish and let me see if I can zoom in here so sure are a lot of motorcyclists going around here but so here's the daikon radish it was uh, so about one and a half inches long and so it was about here and then it, and it was actually wasn't expecting it to grow more root but it actually did and um, I don't know if you can really tell very well but you can see if you can see how it how it's kind of sticking down the side and growing all and it's um actually grown more root and then so now it's gone to seed and it has all these seed pods and I have to wait until they uh, dry like this one and get really dry and I could have seed save it for um, the next coming cool season 
here. And I actually saw in one of the videos on radish that a lot of people actually like to eat these pods. So you can actually eat them when they're nice and young and tender. So probably like all these that are closer to the tip, these are like really newly formed. So maybe like, like say like this one, this one would be much better than versus eating one of the ones that are further back here because then these are much older and they would be a lot actually a lot spicier and I actually tried a few I'm not really a fan of them but uh, they definitely are a, they, they definitely do have a kick and of course the older ones you have they're definitely much much spicier so um, you know check it out maybe search the other videos on YouTube because there was the, this one video that I watched they actually said that, that once they discovered you can eat these they actually are going to grow, grow radishes just for these seed pods instead of for the actual root. But I wonder, you know, if they were to try what I did and cut off and leave a good amount of the root and then try putting it back in the ground to regrow, it actually might grow even more root later on so that then, then you can have root and you can have seed pods to eat. So that's a thing to consider and try if you actually like these pods but I'm just growing them and I, I, I kind of snack on them a, you know a few when I come out here and stuff but they're still they're okay I'm not really a huge fan of like wow these are really good to eat and you know but that's that's um, that's my opinion and uh, yeah for me I'm not really a big fan of it but but I still do snack on it here and there and then in this one in the same pot in this little tiny pot which I actually need to repot this one is this is a Barbados cherry I can't remember what, what other common names this one has but it's a Barbados cherry so and really really good for vitamin C and I think other things I can't remember but there's supposed to be uh, have a lot of definitely for sure have a lot of vitamin C in, in it and here is my mango I'm not sure of the variety I can't remember which variety which seed I had and so this is about this is almost my height and I'm five feet three so it's about six inches shy of my height and um, once this finishes growing I'm gonna snip it so I can get it to start branching out and I think oh and then over here is the sea grape tree and it's getting huge and so that's pretty much it yeah, I think. So that's pretty much the update for the garden here. Not much else to report on, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any other seeds or you know plant any other things for right now. And um, I've been wanting to get the ground cherries, but um, we'll see. If I get that growing, I'll post about it. And um, I've just been really busy with other things and getting my business going. So let me know what's up with your garden. All right, and have a great day. All right, bye-bye.